Hey folks, so we've got a pretty good flange so far, but there are still some details that we can add to make it more realistic. So let's uh, go through editing the Design Explorer. Let's also talk about some additional things we can do in our lofting. So we might look at this duct and say, well, we've got sharp corners here that go into a smooth edge here, and maybe that's not realistic for a real life part. No matter how careful we are, we may run into certain times when we wish to change our design. And one solution is we can put a fillet, say on this inside edge here, and then we can put a larger fillet on this outside edge, and that certainly would help it to become more realistic and have smooth edges all the way around. But we also can utilize the history tree or design explorer, which, whichever you'd like to call it, into another possible solution. I can take my dog bone here and roll it up so that we haven't shelled the part yet. And then I can add one simple fillet on my outside edges. A radius of 0.5 is just fine for me. I'll apply that. We'll close. And then I can roll my dog, bone, my dog bone back forward. And now the shell is automatically thickened to the size of the fillets that I've made. So sometimes it helps to add features and sometimes it's faster and easier and more simple to simply go back in time and then roll it back forward after we've made our changes. And this is true and works in multiple ways depending on exactly how we want to modify the part. For example, I can go to my plane that I've created, and let's say I want it to be a full foot instead of just 10 inches. I can update the location of the plane, and then I can select Generate to Last Feature. And now we have a foot long flange instead of one that is simply 10 inches. So now that we've made some changes, let's take a look at some more lofting options. We've already selected Tangent to Sketch Profile, and we've went through Angles. We've also covered twist minimizations, but what are these options down here? Well, let's take a look at the right view of this and uh, let's select minimize curvature. As you can tell, minimize curvature substantially changes the lofting profile almost back into a straight loft that we've had before. You can tell though that there's still a little bit of curvature as we zoom way in but the curvature is absolutely minimized here. We can also select ruled and ruled produces a loft that is meant to be as straight as you can go. Obviously there has to be some curvature in this, but it's as straight as, as you can find it. Ruled is a great way to resolve lofting errors if uh, things don't otherwise work out. It produces a very simple loft. So those are just a few more options that we can go through with lofting. So those are some ways that we can utilize the Design Explorer to enhance changes to our part, as well as a few extra options when lofting. But let's delve even deeper into lofting by making a complex hand grip in the next video.